Hi to y'all. Hey, I don't know if you've ever made any black beans before, but they're highly nutritious and really good for you. Not to mention quite tasty. And they're versatile too, so you can use them in uh, nachos and tacos and chilies and just, you know, eat them straight up if you want. So uh, if you'd like, uh, stick around and I'll show you how I make mine. Now I'm going to be using a crock pot with a timer on it to cook these beans, and I'll set it for six hours. But before I get the beans in the solution, I'm going to go ahead and just pat them down and make sure there's no dirt clods or rocks or anything like that in here. So I kind of just go through a whole pound just looking for any debris that might have got picked up by the field hands or the machinery or whatever when they were harvesting these beans. Now I've got two quarts of uh, warm water and that's just what you need for one pound of beans. So I'm going to take about oh half of this first quart and pour a little bit up in that blender and to that I'm going to add these big old honking Roma tomatoes. I got some really nice ones here. Uh, I believe there's four of them. You could get away with probably just using maybe two but your sauce for your beans won't be quite as uh, thick and rich so let me uh, pulse that for just a minute and uh, we'll get them kind of rendered down just a little bit. That's pretty good. Now I'm going to mix my spices in with this and uh, I'm going to start off here with the uh, let me do my powdered first while I keep this. I'm going to go with just one teaspoon of this uh, coarse ground black pepper. Put that into the blender. And then I'm going to take the tablespoon measuring and uh, put in one tablespoon of garlic powder. And then to that we'll add uh, one tablespoon of onion powder. And then to that we're going to add a teaspoon of salt. That's about right for one pound of beans. And then I'll take a big old heaping tablespoon of chopped up garlic. Let me get that blended up. That's pretty good. Now I'll take that whole slurry and uh, just pour that right over the beans. On top of that, we're going to go ahead and add that half quart of water. And then we'll go ahead and finish putting in this other quart. So we got a total of two quarts of water going into these beans. And they'll absorb almost all that, but you'll still have just a little bit of soup uh, left. Now I'm going to just coarsely chop one large uh, white sweet onion. We'll go ahead and get that onion in the pot too. Now we'll give it a little stir just to kind of mix everything together. And we'll get the lid on it. Now we'll set the timer for six hours on low. All right, well it's been that six hours now. Woo, those beans are hot. They look like they're done. Let me stir them in just a little bit. There we go. Now I'm going to use a spoon that's got a bunch of holes in it that'll drain some of that juice out. And uh, tonight I'm going to be using these on a, a plate of nachos I'm making. I'll just kind of Sprinkle those over the bed of corn chips. We have black bean nachos. It's time to enjoy. We'll see y'all later.